Do you want to learn how to easily mend tears and holes on your garments using your sewing machine? We've got you covered because that is today's topic in Sewing Saturday. As a sewing beginner, we sometimes get confused with so many tips and tutorials online. And I'm glad to introduce you to our newest sewing video series featuring the easiest tips and tricks that I wish I learned when I started sewing. It's Julius again from Sew It's Your Style, and welcome to Sewing Saturday, where we teach you how to become a better sewer. From tips and tricks, all the way to making your very first project. Join us today as we explore the basics of sewing. Mending and repairing of clothes has long been forgotten by many of us. And nowadays, only few people have been employing this skill, simply because we are now living in the age of fast fashion, wherein clothing nowadays is considered as a consumable item. And also, mass manufactured clothing is way less expensive than the labor required to repair it. Of course, why would consumers bother to repair your clothing wherein they can get new ones? But isn't it time that we start relearning the art of mending? So when we talk about mending and repairing clothes, people often think that it's a daunting and unbearable task because it requires manual labor. But friends, we are now living in a computerized age and everything can be done by machines. And this is why today I am very glad to introduce you to a sewing feature on the Brother NV180 that can help you save tons of cash when it comes to your clothing. So before we proceed, let's explore what darning is usually used for. The NV180 is capable of a sewing application called darning. It is a technique used to restore textiles as well as to repair fabric damage that do not run along the seam. It is usually done in areas of fabric where patching is impractical or in areas that can create discomfort to the wearer. One example, the heels of your socks. The simplest form of darning consists of anchoring a thread on the edge of the fabric and carrying it across the gap, which is then anchored to the other side. The goal is to prevent the fabric from tearing completely. It is not only used for restoring fabrics, but they are also used in embroidery. Back then, when machines were not invented, people normally mend their clothes. Because many, many years ago, clothing is a valuable item. And people spend time hand sewing and mending tears and holes on garments. And if we start reapplying these techniques today, we could definitely have a practical and sustainable lifestyle. Which leads me to a chore that I have to do today. So if you have clothes that are worn out, have tears, or have holes in them, you can benefit from the darning feature of the Brother NV180. Let me show you how easy it is to mend and darn your clothes. So before we begin, it is important to remember that darning is used as a way to hide tears on garments. And if you are looking to achieve that invisibly mended look on the part of a garment, it is necessary to look for a thread that fully matches the color of the fabric. And this is called invisible mending, in which the goal is to restore the fabric to its original integrity. So try to look for a thread that closely matches your fabric. So darning on the Brother NV180 requires a special foot called the buttonhole foot. And all Brother sewing machines comes with this foot. But before attaching the foot onto the machine, it is important first to determine the size of the tear on the garment. Using a ruler or a seam gauge, measure the width and length of the tear. In addition, it is highly recommended to fuse a piece of lightweight fusible interfacing onto the wrong side of the fabric. This is to ensure that the fabric is stabilized and doesn't shift when stitching it. Once done, we will then adjust the buttonhole foot 
to the desired length of the darning. Lastly, before attaching the bottom hole foot, position the upper thread under the presser foot by guiding the thread through the hole in the foot. In this example, I will be using a contrasting thread so that you can see the lines of stitching. Then select the darning stitch on the machine. Darning is also a reinforcement stitching, as the machine will sew continuous vertical as well as horizontal stitches based on the desired length of the darning. Once everything is set, position the fabric so that the needle is about 2 mm in front of the area to be darned. Lower the presser foot, then pull down the buttonhole lever as far as possible. This is quite similar to making a buttonhole. While gently holding the end of the upper thread with your left hand, start the machine. The machine will sew lines of stitching, which will then cover the part to be mended. Once sewing is completed, the machine will automatically sew reinforcement stitches to secure the ends. Raise the presser foot lever, remove the fabric, and cut the threads. And there we have it, a fully mended garment using the darning stitch on the NV180. Now let me try it out on an actual garment. This time, I will be using a black thread. Following the simple steps I've mentioned, I will then start the darning process. It may not be as invisible as you want it to be, but most likely, the damage on the garment has been repaired. It is important to remember that sustainable clothing requires prolonging of garments or clothes until they are no longer usable. I hope that you love the darning feature on the Brother NV180 as much as I do, and I will see you soon with another episode of Sewing Saturday.